Six Nigerian professors and older refugees jailed in Cameroon have called on the federal government to deploy all legitimate means to secure their release from prison. The asylum seekers appealed to lawmakers to urge the Nigerian government to urgently implement the UNHRC WGAD communication of October 14, 2022, which called for their release. They also called for action to implement the rulings of the Federal High Court of Abuja in 2019, which ordered their release and compensation. It would be recalled that the professors were deported from Nigeria to Cameroon on January 5, 2018, on allegations of plotting to destabilize the government of Cameroonian President Paul Bia. Following their deportation, they were tried by a military tribunal and sentenced to life imprisonment at the Kondegui Maximum Security Detection Facility in Cameroon. They didn't listen to anybody. So we are appealing to him, we are appealing to our parliament, elected by our people, by the will, the sovereign will of the Nigerian people, to intervene with the uh, Cameroon authorities to release these people, so that maybe they can go into a, 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 a conversation to negotiate peace, because these people are interested in peace, so that their refugees can return home, everything, so that their people can have peace, you know? And, you know, you cannot negotiate with somebody who is not free. Somebody who is not free. One of the things... When then they come for you, that's when you realize that we have to highlight these things. So this whole idea of citizenship, it's a non-issue. So this petition today was not about arguing the citizenship of our clients. This petition today is not about talking about Nigeria interfering in the internal affairs of another country. This petition is to come to Nigeria and ask to Nigerians through their legislature and through the judiciary has already done that. The judiciary has already said, listen, hey, how could you do this? Because in three different decisions, the Federal High Court here in Abuja, where we're standing today, has said your arrest was illegal, unconstitutional, and illegitimate. And they did not stop there. They said, bring them back and compensate them.